Now, what are the advantages of cloud computing? There are many advantages of cloud computing. The first one is pay as you go. That means you have you have to pay for the resources that you are going to use. That means um, if uh, we are going to launch our virtual servers by using infrastructure as a service, and if we are launching those server only for three hours, that means uh, we will be charged only for the three hours. After that three hours, we can terminate our virtual servers. But on the other hand, if we are going to um, purchase physical server, that means long term cost is involved, then uh, certain fixed cost is involved, then uh, when you are maintaining those servers, then again the cost is there. But in cloud computing, uh, the numbers of hours or minutes you are going to use your resources according to you will be charged. Like when you use electricity, a, um, how much electricity you have used according to that will be your bill. Then the second advantage is you can assess your resources from anywhere uh, that uh, anytime and by using any device. And the third is economy of, of scale. That means when you are purchasing physical resources, or uh, that is costly. But when you are using the uh, cloud resources on the long term, they are cheap because these are um, like uh, AWS cloud, Azure cloud or uh, your Google cloud. These are very big companies. They are very large companies. So when they have purchased the, uh, their infrastructure uh, because uh, too much infrastructure they have purchased. So uh, when we are using basically we are uh, sharing that infrastructure uh, with other peoples. So what is happening um, uh, that cost get divided and plus uh, uh, because a lot of hardware has been purchased by these companies. So the, uh, that is little bit cheaper in that case. That means if we are purchasing certain things because our quantity is limited. So that uh, becomes a little bit costly. But these companies, uh, they work on very large scale. So their uh, um, procurement of resources is a uh, little bit cheaper. So um, they are sharing those resources with many users. So we get those uh, resources at cheaper rate. Then flexibility is there. Suppose uh, when we were talking about the uh, infrastructure as a service. So if, uh, if initially I have ordered um, one server with the 32 GB um, uh, RAM uh, in cloud, what you can do immediately you can order that I need one terabyte of RAM and you can change the number of processor. You can um, change the hard disk also type of hard disk also. That means lot of flexibility is there. But uh, if you are going to use physical server, that much flexibility is not there. Then expert lineage. Suppose if I am a small organization with uh, uh, just uh, five people company, then uh, our uh, we cannot afford that much expert, uh, which are cloud expert, networking expert, or storage expert, because uh, we work on very um, uh, small scale. But when we talk about these big companies, uh, 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 what they can do they can employ the best brains of the industry so um, these all cloud computings they are expertly managed that means uh, we are using the resources of those company uh, um, uh, uh, where their infrastructure is managed by the very expert person so these are the various example uh, advantage of cloud computing